Well, the analogy I always use, and it's a little obscure maybe to people who aren't in early American history, is the battle between the new lights and the old lights. Uh, old light congregational ministers believed that you preached what you knew and your congregation either got it or they didn't, but it, that was not your problem. Your job was to be the expert and you pre and, and I think this is the way many of us approach the classroom. We have a PhD, we know something our students don't know. Our gift to them is that we're going to tell it to them and it will sort of sprinkle down out of the air and the smart kids will get it and the other kids won't and this is how you sort the wheat from the chaff. Working with teachers, I really learned to be a new light minister. Over and over again what I heard from teachers was you have to start where the students are and the goal of the classroom is to find a way to move them someplace else but you have to start not where you wish they were and not where you imagine they are and not where four of them are in the whole class but you really have to know your students and begin there and work up as new light ministers used to say and I think what teachers have really done is is taught me to listen to and pay attention to where my students are and to think that my job is to help them build. When I walk into the classroom now I think what do I want to do for these students as opposed to to these students and and it turns out to be things like help them improve the skills they have, uh, help them nurture in them an interest in the world around them and an interest in how we got where we are, which is sort of the essence of history, I think, and to, um, to make them, I guess in a sense, own their own knowledge.